Hello viewers and welcome to the very first episode of Trash Talk on Girls Frontline, where I will be talking about the various T-Dolls you can get in this strategy gacha mobile game. In today's episode, I will be talking about the glorious AK-12. AK-12, or Automatic Kalashnikov-12, is a Russian assault rifle chambered in 5.45x39mm 5 rounds designed and manufactured by Kalashnikov Concern. Designed to replace the aging AK-74M, the development of AK-12 started in 2011 to create a new rifle that's better in every single aspect. The design didn't get finalized until 2016, and in 2018, AK-12 was adopted as the latest main service rifle of the Russian army. While it shares many common parts with AK-74M, AK-12 also features free-floating barrel for improved accuracy, adjustable and foldable shoulder stock for ease of carry, improved ergonomics with its newly designed pistol grip, large Picatinny rail covers to attach various combat accessories, and advanced muzzle brake that allows suppressor or bayonet to be attached to it. Basically, AK-12 is really just plain better. Now, let's take a look at how well AK-12 performs in-game. As some of you who have played the game might know, how useful a T-Doll is is usually determined by her skill. At level 10, AK-12 skill, Eye of the Snow Wolf, can buff her damage, rate of fire, accuracy, and critical rate by 35% for 5 seconds. This is pretty ridiculous, as the buff is big enough that it can push AK-12 all the way to the top spot Indiana terms of DPS and it can push her rate of fire and critical rate nearly to the max. As for her position in unusual ARSMG echelon, put her in position 1, her tile set is more than enough to cover every single SMG on the front line, boosting their damage by 25% and rate of fire by 15%. Considering almost no other ART doll can be placed in position 1 while still buffing the SMG off tank in position 8, this just solidified AK-12 spot at the top even more. With that said, don't put too many T dolls that can buff rate of fire and critical rate in the same echelon, AK-12 got that handled already. And, to those who have already seen my trash talk on Lancer and trash talk on Battletech videos, you probably knew why I picked AK-12 in this video. It's definitely not because of how powerful she is against those Sangvis fairy, I'm gonna let you guys guess what it is that attracted me to her. Sadly, AK-12 isn't entirely perfect, that's because her fellow Defy squad mate, N-94, exists, who can do this. Nevertheless, AK-12 is still one of the top ART dolls in Girls Frontline, and you should always put her in your ARSMG echelon if you have her. So, hey, I just decided on making this video because, well, I can, and I like the game anyway, so I figure why not do this as an experiment. If you are still wondering the fuck is going on, look at the date. <laughs>